So if you hold the trigger down and you pull it forward, it fires. Do they classify that as still a pump action shotgun or is it like, is that a semi-auto or would that be a fully auto since it's only one trigger pull? That there Ithaca is considered a fully semi-automatic pump action shotgun. Are you 100% sure about that? I'm 100% sure about everything, son. What? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Most people carry surfboards on top of their Baja Beetles. Those people probably live in California where surfing is more prevalent and guns are less prevalent because here in Texas, we carry shotguns on top of our Baja Beetles. This shotgun I'm really excited about. I've wanted one of these for a really long time and I found one in my local gun shop. It's not in pristine condition. This is an Ithaca Model 37 DS Police Special. So it's uh, a little worse for wear. It's been beat up quite a bit, a little rusting, but I think it's still gonna function fine. I have not shot it yet. What's cool about these, well, let me just tell you a little history. This is an Ithaca. It was made in Ithaca, New York. New York makes shotguns, who knew? So what's cool about this shotgun is it does what's called a slam fire. So normally, let me show you a normal shotgun first. A Remington 870, empty. I will pump it, pull the trigger, and I'm still holding the trigger down. When I pump it again, I have to let off the trigger and then pull it down again to fire another round. So, that's how you fire. So, on an Ithaca Model 37, pump it, pull the trigger, and then pump it again and listen to this. It fired again. That was the hammer firing, so I can't fire another one. If you hold it down, it keeps firing. Probably not the safest thing, but it's pretty cool and it is 100% the only reason I bought this gun because I wanted to try out a slam fire shotgun. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Not many guns can slam fire. These Ithaca Model 37s can. There's an old Winchester model that can, but they don't make any guns that slam fire anymore. I'm not sure. I think they were outlawed. I think they were banned. Um, banned to be produced. That was six. I have no idea how many this can hold. Seven, that's probably it. Yep, seven. And we'll put one in the chamber. One other cool thing about this gun is there's no opening on the sides. So the shells go in from the bottom and they come out through the bottom. The Navy SEALs actually used this gun in Vietnam and they used it because less chance debris gets in there because it's closed on both sides and also because it slam fires, which means they could fire it a lot faster. Let's see if this thing functions. <laughs> it fires them out really far. Shells, watch this. In front of the beetle. Let's try the slam fire. Woo. That's pretty cool. You know what's not cool though? This butt pad, which used to be rubber, is kind of hard. Ow. I want to compare the Ithaca Model 37 directly to my Remington 870, they're both pump action shotguns. Is the Model 37 faster? And how much faster is it, if it is? I have a shot timer app and so I'll hit start, it will go beep and then I start firing and I fire as fast as I can and it'll tell me how long it took me. And we'll just compare the two. And this shotgun is loaded with eight rounds. Okay. Total time, 3.48 seconds. Okay, that's faster than I thought I would be. It only counted seven shots though, so that might be messed up. Maybe I'm just so fast. It should have still got the last one, so that's all we really need. And we will start again with the Ithaca. Okay, that was pretty obvious that it's way faster.
Yeah. And the shot timer screwed up. All right, obviously way faster on the Ithaca. I have one more shotgun. This is the Stanion Manufacturing DP-12. It's the double barrel, double mag tube shotgun. So with every pump, it loads in two shells and then you have two trigger pulls. So this will give the Ithaca a run for its money. And we'll see uh, if anything's gonna beat it in the pump action category, it will be this gun. Here we go. Not sure, that one was pretty close. Um, we'll see in editing. I, uh, I think the Ithaca felt faster, but it might've just been because I was working really hard. That thing's fun though. The pump action slam fire is a really cool feature. Well, we've determined the shotgun's awesome, so I guess I'll just end the video. No, no, let's not end the video. I have a bunch of hard drives. You can see they're bad. Um, they have bad stuff on them that I want to destroy. My nudes. <laughs> we should destroy that. Actually, I just want to see what happens when you shoot a hard drive with shotgun shells. Um, we're going to start small with birdshot. So I don't think this is going to go through it. Let's see what kind of damage it does, though. It threw it back about 20 yards. Where's our hard drive? Oh, it killed it. Wow. Nothing went through, ugh, why is it wet? I didn't know hard drives would be wet. Is that battery acid? Am I gonna die? It's probably just oil, right? But you can tell, it got hit pretty hard. But not dead yet. So let's shoot it with some double op buckshot. For those who don't know, buckshot is really cool. You get hit by buckshot, it's gonna ruin your day. The ejector works really well on this. Nothing came through the backside. Dang. We have some penetration there. But nothing too serious, actually. That's pretty cool. I just realized why it was wet earlier. It had cactus juice on it because I can smell cactus. Okay, I was wondering why there was water coming out of the hard drive. I'm not a computer guy. So it seemed weird, but I didn't know. I thought maybe there was oil in there or battery acid. I have one more thing that I want to try. And by one more thing, I mean several more shells of the same kind. We have slugs. And for those who don't know what a shotgun slug is, also known as a deer slug, it's just a one ounce chunk of lead with high brass on the shell, which means there's a lot of powder in there, which means it's going very fast. You get hit with one of these, you'll probably miss your basketball game that week. That solves our little hard drive problem. Left piece of it there, a bunch of pieces of it there. There's a good piece. There's where we went in. There's, I think, where all the smart stuff is saved. Here's some more smart stuff things. That's broken. <laughs> ah, ah, no. Okay. Let's do this. Can you guys see? Are you guys okay? You got a good viewpoint there? I'm gonna slam fire it, okay? Okay, it's gonna slam fire. I already have the trigger down. Oh, this is scary. Uh-oh. Well, that's weird. Ugh. Went right through. There, busted out the back. We got one more. I'll try that slam fire again. I wonder if you have to be actually slamming it hard to make that work. I thought I could just go down slowly, but dang it. Y'all are gonna make a joke about that. I hate you guys. Nope, I missed it by like three inches. I'm gonna slam fire it as fast as I can and film it in slow motion. That should start right about now. One last thing 
that I want to do before sending you guys off. I want to show you how devastating a slam fire shotgun is at close range because as you saw in that slow motion when you're going fast it's bouncing around everywhere so accuracy is pretty much gone but in the home scenario that'd probably be okay so let's say that we're in the home and this guy just broke in now you can tell right off the bat that this guy can't be trusted because he has a pistol with a suppressor on it all bad guys have suppressors oh my gosh and he can fly that's the second clue. Also, he has a pirate sword. He also has one tiny foot. Never trust someone with one tiny foot. And he's balding. Never trust a bald man, ever. Even like a 90 year old guy, if he's bald, don't trust him. You know what, just don't trust old people, period. That's just, uh, play it safe, you know? Okay, as soon as he quits flying, I'll take him out. Stop. Stop. Okay. Let's do this. Chopped a tree in half. That was a nice one. He's done. What I did find out is that it's hard to hold on to a shotgun while you're pumping it and it's firing. Thanks for watching Demos Ranch. If you haven't seen this bug, if this is new to you, then you haven't been watching Off the Ranch, my vlog channel. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. I love you. And I will see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby!